I'm responsible for all of the public entertainment and events. We have 12 concerts a year, we have 10 movies a year, overnight events on the boardwalk. I'd say that the list of events and responsibilities is something around 50 a year. What a lot of people don't see is that what she does at nights and on the weekends, which is traditionally her time off, and she's down here all the time, and quite often she brings her family with her. If there is a problem with the backstage area or something needs to be done, that's the kind of person she is. Carly's great. I love working with Carly. She's wonderful. It goes beyond a smile and she looks like she's enjoying herself, but she really looks at and seems to pull the most positive spin out of whatever was happening. Our Friday night concerts, she comes in early quite often to make sure the, the band, all their needs are met. Working with some of those groups can be a little bit challenging. They love her. They absolutely love her. This is the best part about playing the boardwalk right here. Here we go. We get to work with Carly. Oh. Always takes such good care of it. Yeah, every time Eddie Money comes, he's like, Carly, come give me a big hug. This is Carly, everybody. Carly is just a sweetheart of a gal. Carly wants a tight ship, but you know what? You know, you think through things Carly's way, you're not going to have a problem because, you know, she's usually right. You can't, you can't argue with her, but she's a sweetheart. She's got great kids. When my son Ethan was five years old, he was diagnosed with very high risk acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's chemotherapy, hospital visits, labs, all that stuff became commonplace. We didn't know what to expect. She kept involved, never missed a deadline. She was on the ball. She made sure everything got done in her job. I don't think anybody would know she went through that. So was it surprising that she did all that? Well, not really, because that's her character. A year after Ethan was diagnosed, we were going on the Giant Dipper to celebrate. And uh, besides being a coming of age type of thing, it represented the ups and downs. The boardwalk has a soul, a place that people come to have happiness and escape from kind of everyday life. And she really does embody the spirit of the place. It just sort of exudes that, that vibe. I feel that the boardwalk has a duty to provide happiness and an escape from normal life. And I have really taken that to heart through this experience that I've gone through. I see how a visit to the boardwalk, a ride on a ride, a night at a concert can kind of provide this escape. It's done that for my family too.